you guys ready for some sunshine in your life? Please, everyone, welcome for the first time here on Campire Radio, singer, songwriter, Sunshine Anderson. Hi. How are you? Right. Oh, my goodness. It feels like it's a long time coming. Welcome to Campire Radio. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Oh, and I saw your tweets today, too, so thanks for blowing that up. No, no problem. I was excited when we actually had the confirmation. I was like, let's go. Yeah, yeah. How we been? Not bad. How was your Thanksgiving? Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was great. You too. You too. Thanksgiving was great. Uh, some family, some friends, and, you know, nothing better than some good food. Me and my mama really got down in the kitchen, so <laughs> it was good. It was Sometimes, good. Where, where did you spend your Thanksgiving? Uh, in my hometown, Charlotte, North Carolina. Yep. Okay. So yeah. for the holidays, are you ready for the holidays? You know, somehow it seems to just pop up on me every year, so. I'm as ready as ready to get. <laughs> yeah. You and me both. But you have you have an album out that could be yeah. a great Christmas stocking stuffer for everyone. Let's just just jump yeah. right in. The new album, The Sun Shines Again. How yeah, did you get yeah. the title? How did I get the title? Um, the last title was Sunshine at Midnight. And some mm-hmm. people were like, ooh, sexy, sexy. And I was like, no, that had nothing to do with <laughs> sex. Sunshine at midnight. It was kind of like you know, I was in a it was in a dark place. It was a it was a bad time, and um, mm. I just I, I I wanted people to know that even in your darkness you can have sunshine. You know, even in your mm-hmm. darkness you can still shine. And so with this album, this is a relationship album, and there are definitely those songs on there that say get it together, and you know, though this is this 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 album is for my ladies. So mm. there will be those songs on the album that the fellas might not like or don't get, probably because mm-hmm. they're telling the truth. And so I said, how can I, you know, reflect positively on the album instead of, um, you know, reflecting on how how maybe not so nice some of the songs are. And I just felt mm-hmm. like, gosh, it's been three years again. You've been gone for three years. I'm back. The sun shines again. You know, yeah, it might be a couple of years before you hear from me. Hopefully, not again. But mm-hmm. I'm back. I'm back. You, 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 you will hear my name. <laughs> well, let's rewind a little bit. Everyone knows you before. Yeah. Heard it all before. Very empowering song for women. Um, I mean, it was a big, big hit for you. What was yeah. life like when that hit big? Uh, it was the most amazing time in my life ever. Um, the most amazing time. You know, the ride of my life. Um, I was, I had been out of college, I guess, about a year and a half, and um, it was just amazing. It was overwhelming, you know what I mean? But it was just amazing. The places that I got to go overseas and um, the people that I got to meet and the people who I think were really influenced by my record, um, mm. it, was a, it was a fabulous time in my life, definitely. And then what happened after that? Because you know you had this huge hit, and then it's it's almost as if you disappeared after that. So what? Tell us, you know, the the, the couple of years after that, what happened? What happened after that was I um, initially I was signed to an independent label. I had distribution through Atlantic Records. Mm-hmm. Um, after that, I signed directly with Atlantic Records and yeah. re- began to record my second album mm-hmm. uh, with two songs left to record. The label went into the merger with Warner Brothers, and you know music was changing, and so they mm-hmm. came out of the, the, the they came out of the merger basically saying now that they had all these other female acts on the label and um, some head clauses in their contracts that said okay you got a year to put me out so basically they were telling me we're going to put you on the shelf for a year and a half after the wow. success of heard it all before, and you know nobody wants to sit on the label so. I asked to be released, and about a year and some change, that release was granted. And then I came out of that realizing that there wasn't anybody waving the red flag for Sunshine, even though we had almost sold 800,000 copies. So, Mm -hmm. um, you know, but that was the first, that was the initial, I think, change of music. You know what I mean? All the labels started to merge. And, um, you know, sometimes it's just the way things happen. You know what I mean? The cookie crumbles the way it does sometimes. And so I had to go back home to North Carolina, and um, it was just a bad time. I didn't understand. Um, um, I I had done everything that I was supposed to do, you know what I mean? Um, Every task that I was handed, I completed. So I didn't get it, you know. I didn't get it 
And mm-hmm. like I said, it was it was sunshine and midnight. I was still there, but you know, it was just a it was just a bad time in my life, you know. Um, and you refer so, to, to that time in your life as a dark period. I mean, there was a mention of, you know, drugs and alcohol use and things like that. What happened then? Like, where, where was your state of mind then? Listen, I ain't did no more drugs then. <laughs> I won't get into that, but I'm not mm-hmm. a cocaine user. I'm not a pill popper. I'm not a heroin user. I don't shoot nothing up in my arms. So let's get that real, real, real clear. Um, yeah, I'm okay. yeah, let's make that real clear. Um, but when I say dark time in my life, I just mean that um, I was in 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 my sense of spiraling out of control. You know, um, I'm an educated college woman. You know what I mean? I come from a good household, and you know mm-hmm. my parents have done very well for themselves. So the behavior that I was exhibiting was not in my character at all. And when I say dark place, I mean like I hung black sheets up on my window, like. Mm-hmm. Literally, because I did not, I wanted to be in the dark. I wanted to be dark as long as possible. You know what I mean? I might, I might. I remember a period where I, I opened the, 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 I ordered pizza for three days straight and only got up out the bed to take a bath, maybe mm-hmm. after three days. You know what I'm saying? Like just, just feeling down, like I said, and not when, when you, when you see all the possibilities in front of you. When you go to California and you go all the way across the country and you do all these things and you meet all these people and then you have to go back home. Mm. It's, uh, something to, that's, I mean, I can understand that even on a, 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 a smaller scale of you know when you, you moved out of your parents' home and you have to go back home because you, you failed and you have to go okay. back home. And, Woo, see, I like you. See. You, yeah, you get it. Like, I okay. definitely understand that. Because I remember when I, you know, I moved out of my parents' house when I was 18, and just the fear of having to probably go back home. To go mm, back. I get yeah. it. Yeah, I get you it. You get it. You know, so it was bad, and um, and like I said, um, I'm I'm from the south, and not to not to, you know, imply that you know I'm I'm dumb or I'm stupid or anything, but me, my my parents told me that you know. This type of thing does not happen to you, sunshine. It happens to Californians and it happens to New Yorkers. You need a job. So this mm. was already an unrealistic path that I had chosen in a few people's in a few people's eyes. So yeah. it became how 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 crazy of you, sunshine, to think that you could go to California and be a big musician and a star. How um, stupid of you to think that you know it could be any more than what it has been than what it was. You understand? Wow, yeah. So it was a it was it was a very humbling experience, mm-hmm. but nonetheless, um, I was hurt. I was hurt, and I'm sure that I, I know I did a lot of woe with me. You know what I mean? And why God? And you know what I mean? And instead of um, what I've done now, which is stand up, brush myself off, take control of my life, and mm-hmm. the sun shines again. <laughs> when you put up when you put out the album Sunshine at Midnight. Were you still in that dark place? No, actually. Um, I put out Sunshine at Midnight. Um, Sunshine at Midnight, I was signed to my own label, Shining Star. Yeah. Um, I had a joint venture with with Matthew Knows at Music World. Um, yes. So, you know, there was a, there was a, there was a split. So, um, no, I was I was in a great place. Uh, mm-hmm. I was in a great place, and 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 that's the sad part about it is that people miss that album, you know. There was great production. I, on the I album. remember when the when uh, the single came out, I was excited about the album, but then I didn't hear when yeah. it came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? What uh, happened with that um, joint venture with um, Matthew Knowles? Um, I think what happened um, was there again, simply business. You know, mm. the cookie crumbling where it may. Um, you won't get me to say anything. Not that you're trying, but you won't get me to say anything bad about Matthew Knowles. Um, because he did exactly what he said he was going to do. He put mm-hmm. a record out. Could mm-hmm. some, some things could have some, some been, been done differently, yes. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, I learned from Matthew Knows that this is a business, you know. Yeah. And um, sometimes things happen, you know. And so you just, now honestly, by that, po- by that point, um, yeah, because, you know, you're thinking, this is Beyonce, daddy. Child, <laughs> you came up. Okay, we done came up and it's gonna be on and you know, so no, you couldn't tell you couldn't have told me that it was that it wasn't going to be big. Um, we had Doctor Dre on that album, we had Raphael Sadiq on that album, we had Mike City on that album, like there were so many uh, static was on that album. Um mm. 
we had so many, you know, there was it was a great album. You know what I mean? I I I definitely saw the growth from the first to the second. So um, I really hate that people missed out on that. But um, you know, I'm back. Here I am. <laughs> but what, hap- what what exactly happened with the album? Was it marketing? Was it just like labels not being able to promote it right? Um, I'm sure marketing promotions. Um, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I honestly, to be honestly, to, to honestly tell you, um, mm-hmm. I had a, I have a three year old daughter named Sky, and well, congratulations. I worked. Thank you. I worked that album till I was eight months pregnant. So oh, wow. I can't. I'm, I'm really wasn't even concerned with. <laughs> I really wasn't. I was a brand new mom. I was a wife. Uh, I really wasn't concerned with numbers and what exactly is happening and what's not happening. And um, you know, it, so it was. You had, a, you had another great, focus that time. I had another focus. It was definitely a great, a fabulous time in my life. So you know, mm. I was blessed. I was blessed to be able to do it a second time. 